Hi, my name is Joanne Dinning. I'm the instructor for the Intro to Graphic Design course. And welcome. So I thought I would post this brief introduction to the D2L interface to help you get started navigating the course. So notice that uh, right now nothing is posted in this new section, but this will be kind of the hub of our course. Every week I will post new material here, sometimes several times a week. Uh, I will try to make it as clear as possible what is due and what's expected of you in the course. Um, if you look over on this side, you'll notice there's a content browser. So we have a syllabus, um, weekly instructions, handouts, software help, how to critique, and lynda.com. So the syllabus, I'll just click on that first, is just kind of a breakdown of all the information about the course. Contact info and office hours lets you know uh, how to get a hold of me. I will be in the A303 lab every Tuesday and Thursday uh, from 8 to 9 a.m. If you would like to meet with me, that's a great time to meet up. I'm also going to be on campus on Fridays from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So I really encourage you to email me or just to come on either Tuesday or Thursday morning to the A303 lab and get some hands-on help with me. Uh, I think this will be really useful for you, especially if you're having a hard time navigating the software. Uh, my contact is my email. I would really prefer if you email me through the D2L interface, but if you need to contact me through my DVC email, it's right here. And, uh, you know, basically, I hope that you get in contact with me if you're having issues. I, I will be very willing to help you out and hopefully solve some of the problems. Uh, a little bit about me before we move on. I have been teaching at DVC for about 10 years and before that I have a master, I was getting my master's at UC Davis, so I have a master of fine art. I've taught digital illustration, uh, digital photography, digital video, graphic design. So I, I have a wide variety of skills and I worked as a designer and commercial photographer professionally before I came to work full time at DVC. So there is a mandatory class meeting time next week. Uh, please look at your section to figure out what your mandatory meeting time is. It will either be on Tuesday, January 20th from 8 to 9 a.m. in A303 or on Thursday, January 22nd from 8 to 9 a.m. in A303. So I believe uh, section 5020 is the Tuesday meeting and section 5012 is the Thursday meeting. And this is uh, required. I really like to get to see you in person at least once during the semester. So this will be helpful for me to kind of place a face with an email or with an online contact. So here's the course description. I encourage you to read through this and see our course objectives. Uh, really, we're trying to become good designers in here to think about design conceptually and to be able to kind of navigate the computer and create designs by the end of the semester. So we will have a, uh, a few assignments that are cut and paste, which means we'll be using scissors and glue sticks and paper. Other assignments will be done uh, through the computer. If you are really struggling with the software, you can always resort to cut and paste methods. Um, and please contact me if that's an issue. And I have had you know, many students complete the course using cut and paste methods. So that's always an option. Our textbook is Graphic Design Solutions, uh, any edition after the fourth edition, and the author is Robin Landa. This textbook will be in the bookstore, you can buy it online, and I do have a downloadable PDF, uh, the fourth edition, that you can review until your actual textbook comes. I am encouraging everyone to buy a copy of the textbook, it's really hard to read it as the PDF version. There's also a Kindle edition, I believe, and it's a little bit cheaper if you choose to buy the Kindle edition. There's also an optional textbook, Graphic Design A Concise History. We will be discussing um, some parts of graphic design history and doing a brief overview in this course, so it's a great resource if you're interested about in learning more. I'm really encouraging everyone, especially those students who are having issues with software who have never used design software like Photoshop and Illustrator, to subscribe to lynda.com. Uh, Lynda is a wonderful database of software tutorials. Uh, it can really help you get up to speed in Adobe software. 
and these video tutorials are very basic you can watch them over and over and the subscription cost isn't that much I think it's about uh, between 20 and 30 dollars I think per month so really this will be very helpful for you if you want to get started with some software and you've never used it in this course we, we really talk about design more than we talk about the software uh, to create design so it, it's a little bit of an issue for online students if you're struggling with software you need to really either meet with me in person to get uh, some hands-on instruction or lynda.com is another great option otherwise a few pens are always good to have uh, you will be sketching a lot in this course so it's nice to have a few uh, pens with a variety of thicknesses and you can buy these drawing pens with different weights a sketchbook is really critical you will be required to turn in sketches for this course to upload them to the discussion forum you'll need a scissors glue stick for our first few assignments and trace trace paper is also really nice to have it can be very helpful when you're tracing over photographs or tracing over logos so I have trace paper in our lab if you want to get some from me but otherwise it's really nice to have your own trace pad okay so I think that's basically it except for just looking at how we grade or how the course is graded so I have broken out all of the grades for all of the assignments uh, notice that uh, you know there's a discussion a quiz there's some writing projects there's one large project the logo project that's kind of in the middle of the course and so you'll see the percentage breakdown I will try and grade quickly and I try and post grades every one to two weeks in the course and you can find your grades in the assessment tab up here so if you look at the top of the D2L interface you'll notice that there's an assessment tab and there's a grade section if you click on that you will see all of the grades as they kind of pop up in D2L and I often do comments in the grade section and uh, you can then email me if you have questions notice also in this assessments tab there's a Dropbox after you finish a project you will have to upload it to the Dropbox on its due date I'm requesting that students keep the files small for upload I know as a designer sometimes you want big files so that you can create beautiful prints so I recommend you know creating your your designs um, with a large enough file format so that you can get a good print but because this is an online course we really need to keep our file size manageable so keeping your files under one megabyte uh, is really helpful for me and to make sure that when you do upload them that they're e that you upload it as a PDF file or a JPEG file otherwise I, I don't know what file it is if it has an, an extension like an illustrator file I won't get to see the extension and I'll have to try and figure out what type of file you've uploaded so if you do that I'll probably just post a, a, a quick message to you I can't open your file please upload as a P PDF or JPEG so going over to this next tab here communications there's a discussions tab in here that you will be frequently going on to so this is where we are going to communicate with other students in the class so every week you're going to have to post drafts of your projects this could be sketches rough drafts final drafts uh, and that way you can see what other students are doing and you can give other students feedback and you can receive feedback so feedback giving feedback is really required in here as part of your participation grade and you you need to post everything on its required due date so when you look at the um, assignments the weekly assignments you'll notice that I often have a, a discussion drop date for a rough draft and then a Dropbox drop date for a final draft so really pay attention to where things need to be uploaded and once you post to a discussion forum you should look at who else has posted and then give you know at least two to three students feedback and there's a minimum word requirement usually in the post notice there's also a community question and answer forum this is a place for you to communicate with your peers so if you have something you want to share with other students in the class feel free to post it here if you have a question and you want to ask the class instead of me directly feel free to post it here so this is kind of a place for you guys to share resources ask questions um, and talk talk as a as a as a class if you want to 
talk to me specifically, then you can find my email up here in email. So go back up to this communication tab, scroll down to email, click on it, and that's where you can send me an email. You also have access to an address book of all the other students in the class. So if you want to send a specific student an email, you can do it here. So those are kind of the key components of the course. I'll go back to the home page here. Uh, and notice at the bottom, there's a calendar. This has all of our due dates, including when you should post things to the discussion forum, when sh you should post them to the Dropbox. Uh, so all that stuff is, is listed in the calendar for you to uh, review. If you are thinking of getting the software, uh, I would recommend going to this Adobe Creative marketing site, adobe.com, and getting a subscription to Creative Cloud. A Creative Cloud subscription will give you access to all of the Adobe software. If you want to just get specific uh, software programs like Photoshop or Illustrator, you can actually do that here as well. So you can just get a subscription to one thing like Photoshop or you can get a subscription to the whole plan, which is a little bit more expensive. Uh, but it's, it's great. It, it upgrades automatically every time there's a new addition uh, to the Adobe software. And I will post this link on the home page. This is the lynda.com site I was talking about. I'll also post this on the home page. And you can see there's lots of different video tutorials here. The other thing that's really nice about lynda.com is they give you a whole bunch of different documentaries. And in my in-person class, I often watch documentaries from lynda.com on different designers. So I will be posting recommendations for you to look at in lynda.com. One movie you're required to view during the course is Helvetica. And it is, you can, if you have a subscription to lynda.com, you can watch it through lynda.com. Otherwise, you'll have to get it uh, from Netflix or Amazon. So coming back to the interface, if you have any questions, feel free to email me and I look forward to meeting you all in person next week.